my neighbor play bass? No, you aren't, except you definitely are. This video is starting off great with me complaining about my neighbors because these are the loudest neighbors I've had in the five years that I've lived here. So as you may have noticed, I have started with a much more winter appropriate outfit. That is because I am going to be progressing in this video from winter appropriate outfits to more spring appropriate outfits as we go. This outfit is warm and winter appropriate, but you can easily remove the layers as you go. The goal is to make sure that you wear layers that are easy to remove, aka usually layers that have buttons or layers that are a little bit thinner. So in my case, I have this denim button up that I could stuff inside this bag if I wanted to or if I got a little bit too hot. And if I got a little bit colder, I could button it up and I could also button up the coat. Generally speaking, if you are somebody who gets really cold in the mornings, really hot during the day, and then really cold at night again, then I really recommend carrying a big bag with you in case you do have to stuff some of your clothes away during the day. That rhymed. Huh. When you layer like this, also pay attention to the thickness of the material. Since my middle layer is really thick, I went for a thinner coat, but if my middle layer were thinner, I would go for a heavier coat. If you wanted to make this outfit even warmer, you could switch out your middle layer to something warmer like a sweater. Let me show you an example with the sweater on. This is the outfit with a sweater. Now, I wouldn't probably even want to put the coat on that I had earlier on because that would be maybe a little bit too hot, but you know, if you are somebody who's freezing, maybe this is the right way to go. And it's an easier layer to remove as well, and this particular sweater is on the thinner side, but if you have a thick sweater, maybe consider having a thinner coat or something else. In the end, it's your life. You do what you want and check out what kinds of layers you have in your closet. So if you normally have thinner layers, then just find the thicker layers, whether that's a coat or a sweater and wear those on top. Or if you're a person who has a lot of thick layers, then maybe your under layer should be something really thin. Or maybe you just have less layers overall. It just really depends on your body temperature and your preferences. You know that MGMT song that goes like, me and Michael? Well, this is me and my neighbor that I freaking hate. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. 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 That last outfit took me 11 minutes to film because I had to refilm it because of this guy. This outfit was inspired by another outfit that I saw on Pinterest and I thought, hey, that's really cute, pairing like boots with a skirt with a shirt. And then I thought, why not wear my vest too? This coat is just a bonus because I wanted to show you guys how this looks like if I wore it outside, but let me take it off one second. Voila, isn't it beautiful? It's kind of funky and it's kind of cool. My problem with this shirt has been that I have not been able to find ways to style it that don't look a little bit too grandma-ish because it is an older shirt. And I guess right now I feel a little bit insecure in this shirt because two or three people have called me a grandma when I've been wearing this shirt with specifically this skirt. So today we are tackling that insecurity. I also really wanted to utilize this vest more and I figured if I added the vest, it adds a little bit more of like a funky element. When I wore this beret with my long hair, I don't think it really worked, but now that I have short hair, I think it's a little bit more cool. And I think the boots also add a little bit more funkiness. This outfit is a tiny bit toasty as it already is, but if you want to make it even more toasty, you could add some knee length socks or then maybe some tights underneath. I'm currently overheating, so I'm not really doing that, but I recommend you do it if you do feel like you're going to be cold otherwise. Overall, I'd say this is a cute outfit. I'd say it's a little bit better of an attempt at not looking like a grandma when I'm wearing this shirt. I don't know. What do you guys think? Is this shirt giving grandma or are the people that said it just lame? I think it's cute, but I think I need to reconvince myself, which is why I made this outfit. So not only have I managed to dress down a really fancy dress, but I've also managed to make a funky outfit that includes the most weirdest obscure obsession that I have, which is tropical shirts. Oh yeah. I am currently treading a strange path, which is going between maximalism and minimalism. I have been a minimalist for a very long time in my life, and in the last few years, I feel like I've introduced more maximalism into my closet, except I don't really know how to do that. I think I'm getting there. The thing with me is, if I am going to be maximalist, it needs to be on my own terms. I'm not the kind of person that can throw on red, green, pink, blue, call it an outfit and walk out the door. I feel like I need to mix a bit of minimalism with maximalism or else the outfit is overwhelming. I'm just getting a little bit tired of like black and white minimalist outfit, but I'm also not really a maximalist at heart. So right now I'm just looking at what this like mix of minimalism and maximalism looks like to me. And this is what I came up with. I think this is actually kind of cute. It's kind of funky. Overall, I'd say this outfit is really fun. It's leaning into spring with its themes, but I am definitely overheating in this. And if I put a coat on top, which I almost did, then I would definitely overheat like crazy. And if I wanted to add some tights, you know it, I would add tights. But as you already know, I am overheating as we speak. Well, actually there is no we in this situation because technically I'm just talking to a camera. Would you say it's too much? Would you say it's too little? What would you do differently? Let me know because I genuinely need some styling help. I know this is a fashion channel, but this is something that I definitely need help with. You really can't go wrong with a sweater vest in transitional weather. Sweater vests are literally my number one go-to trick if I have nothing else to wear, need something that's warm and not too cold that can help me with balancing my body temperature as well and not make me too hot, too cold, etc. You get the point. 
these also just make you look really put together and it's literally just slapping a sweater vest on a button up and you're done it's called a cruel irony like my dependence on you i usually pair these with a turtleneck or a button up but i feel like i've done the turtleneck version on this channel so much that i wanted to switch it for a button up but i think this is a really cute transitional outfit it's not too hot it's not too cold and if you put a coat on top of this and maybe a beanie or something then you're totally toasty and if you're a little bit too hot then take the sweater vest off and you're good with this particular outfit i am proud of myself for matching the browns i feel like the browns are really cute here and in general it's a nice mix of different textures patterns and neutral colors as you can tell I am officially now shifting into the more spring themed outfits. This outfit spring themed by the very fact that I am wearing green like crazy. Well, not like crazy. I feel like a minimalist would say that and the maximalist would laugh. Definitely the case. <laughs> this outfit is warm but not too warm. We've got the blazer and the turtleneck bringing in some warmth as well as my tights and my boots. The dress itself is really thin so that helps because everything else is kind of hot. And I could add another coat on top if I wanted to. I feel like this is almost like an office siren look but if you actually could wear the outfit outfits outside. It's very spring girly, a little bit officey, but not too officey. It's a little bit flirty. It's a little bit cool. I feel like if I added some sunglasses to this and like ate an ice cream outside or something, I would look like a cool girl. And you know what? The whole point of my outfits is to have somebody think, wow, she looks so cool. <laughs> And if you ever think I look cool, I don't mind you saying it to me. I like this outfit a lot, and at first I was really doubtful about adding green to brown, but I think it actually works really well. Here we have another attempt at me adding a little bit more color to my outfits, which I feel like I definitely add more color, but I feel like it's usually pink or blue or green specifically. So we are going a little bit more purple. Not crazy purple, but this is a nice outfit, I think, that is a little bit of everything. We've got the spring themes, we've got the nice skirt, and we've got a little bit of like that oversized theme going on here. I keep saying this, but but I feel like I'm getting more and more into like oversized on oversized styling, but not in ways that makes it look exhausting and like I'm wearing a trash bag, but in ways that is a little bit more creative. That's more like, how can you make this outfit flare from the top and then flare again from the bottom? I'm not 100% sold on this. I don't think it's a bad look. I think it's just something I haven't tried before. So I'm a little bit concerned if this looks good or not. I'm pretty sure this looks good, but if you disagree with me, let me know as always. I'd say it's cute, it's flowy, it's spring like give me a matcha latte and i am on my way actually i kind of like strawberry drinks more than matcha depending on the drink though matcha and tea strawberry and lemonade can you tell i am waiting for spring to happen so excitedly so if you ever doubted what kind of phase of color i'm in right now this is the phase of color i'm in right now i feel like i missed out on styling brown more in the fall when it was trending because frankly i do not follow trends accurately or on time i always kind of thrift my pieces so 90 percent of this outfit except the boots and the tights is thrifted because while I like trends, I want to make sure that I actually like them because they fit in my personal style and work with the rest of my closet rather than liking them because they are trending. I made an entire video about my no buy year last video, so if you have not watched that yet and you're interested in this topic of not buying and figuring out how to not go with trends, watch that and my personal style video because those are pretty important topics for if you want to be able to have a personal style, not clutter your closet, and be budget friendly when shopping. All in all though, I think this outfit is really cute let me also show you guys how this looks like without the coat on so this is the outfit without the coat and the sunnies i think it's still very cute and it works well because it's still brown brown black black i feel like i look like boba milk tea but you know what we're just gonna put that thought aside for now because i need to look fashionable not like milk tea also is it just me or is boba a little bit overrated i feel like i have never really gotten into it the way i should have according to how people drink boba a lot i don't know something about it just doesn't vibe with me i don't like the taro i prefer lychee over taro which probably is like a sin to boba drinkers but i don't know something about boba just doesn't quite sit with me especially the really extravagant ones like brown sugar or like i don't know what boba flavors there even are i get boba like maybe once or twice a year max i'm pretty sure some of you guys hate me right now because of it but hear me out okay i like many things okay maybe not that many things boba i don't have a problem with i just haven't fallen in love with it and that's my hot take on this outfit and boba. And here we have the last outfit. This is my favorite outfit out of the entire bunch. And this one I actually came up with a couple weeks ago when I was doing Instagram reels. So if you don't follow me on Instagram already, I highly suggest you do because I come up with even more outfit ideas there. And honestly, at this point, it's kind of crazy how I can come up with so many outfits out of the same exact clothes that I've had for a while now. This is like a shoujo manga outfit, which is probably why I'm so obsessed with it. I am actually thinking of making like a short haired anime 
characters outfit video. Let me know what you guys would think about that because I feel like that would be really cool, but I don't know how many of my viewers actually watch anime. I have been watching anime since I was young and I went through the era of, hey, let's bully all the anime kids because they like anime and anime is cartoon to it now being a cool thing to consume. I really wish we could have just always thought anime is cool and not have that weird phase of let's bully the kids who watch anime. Also, the people who bullied me for watching anime also watched anime, so that was a really weird contradiction. Kids are dumb. This feels like something straight out of my love story, which is one of my favorite shoujo's ever. It's so romantic, so cute, so spring-coated, and so is this outfit. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know which outfit was your favorite and what season is your favorite. I definitely like spring and summer the most, I think. And pause and I will see you next time.